The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour. And it doesn't matter where you're at as long as we're here at this time. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. So we've got uh, S&P's off 13, Dow's up 78 after being down. NASDAQ's still down, uh, a little over 1.1%. Uh, Russell's off about 1.5, 1.6%. Crude oil's down a buck. Uh, let's move that over there so I can see some stuff. Uh, we looked at the gold. It's down uh, 7.5 bucks, silver off 38 cents. Uh, Ten-year bond is down uh, 2 eh. 2.7 cents. So uh, we'll look at the TLT because that's what I like. Uh, anyway, it's just up slowly. But uh, on a Thursday, uh, this thing should be rocking the CASBAH as cash naturally comes in from the Fed uh, on these days. And uh, that uh, it's uh, just treading water. Probably not a good sign for the rest of the markets. But uh, we continue to watch closely, see what happens here. But, uh, hey, it's going to be one of those days. I do think that the market is going to find a trend. That trend is not going to run or gallop, but probably walk uh, between now and Christmas. Uh, but uh, we shall see. Anyway, uh, looking at things like, uh, I wanted to look at the dollar here. Hang on a second. Uh, oh, that's a 4X. Come on. Da, 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 da. Okay, well, 96.22 uh, on the dollar index, the basket of the six biggest Western democracies. Uh, and uh, that's kind of it. What's, uh, I did want to get a look at the volume today. So let's uh, do that, see how we caught up. Um, again, uh, volume has been kind of tapering off as we get back up there. This, this is, uh, what, the third time, eighth time? Hard to tell. Uh, but we've been up to uh, highs, and volume has not really been um, enough to blow through the highs, at least in my opinion. Uh, when we talked yesterday, some of it was the uh, questionable movement uh, in a lot of the ETFs, especially when we looked at, uh, in the context of uh, the uh, American Stock Exchange, where most of these uh, ETFs reside, or at least the older ones that have more volume, um, you're down a little bit. You, you know, could actually have more volume by the end of the day than you had yesterday. Uh, we did try to go and run a little higher uh, than yesterday in the queues, gave that all up and more. When we look at some of the others that actually should be doing well, um, you got a little bit of dark cloud cover. You don't have the volume quite yet in AMD. But this is uh, why uh, generally the folks uh, that uh, do Wyckoff uh, style trading, I heard it from uh, Tim Ord uh, very early, but I uh, heard it from others too. And that is a low is not a low until it's been retested on lighter volume. 66, uh, 67 million shares on advanced micro. Uh, at 134.20. Yeah, could we get there? Uh, well, we're closing under 140. Uh, there is a, uh, a look for whatever reason uh, to do some sector rotation. Uh, the company's not a real problem. The question is whether or not uh, you get China to get froggy, get some other things going on, maybe some world events. Maybe a lot of people are willing to ring the register after this thing came up off of two bucks. Um, 877-927-6648. Uh, you can email me at path at tfnn.com. And I think uh, someone has uh, done that. 
Uh, everybody looks like they're running to the apple chain locker at the bow of the ship. Well, you're mixing your metaphors because everybody ran to the stern of the Titanic when it was going down. And, of course, it's my job to mix metaphors here. Uh, what are we, uh, about uh, seven, eight days away from the TFNN Awards uh, party? Uh, I guess it's going to be uh, once again held out at the, uh, in the uh, what is it, the sand uh, pebble out there on the beach. Another wonderful world. I'll, I'll be able to pick up three or four of my awards that I get every year uh, for the show. Of course, uh, mixed metaphors is always the one I look up to the most, uh, along with uh, the, the digression award. Anyway, uh, Apple at the bow of the ship. Well, I'm thinking everybody's gone to the stern of the ship, more Titanic-esque. Uh, and, uh, well, we can see. i me take a quick look at uh, Apple. Um, yeah, not in as much volume they had. It, it, you know, kind of interesting that they had some fairly bad news and still rallied. But, yeah. Uh, if you want to keep up the S&P while you're selling everything else, if you want to make the market look good, all you got to do is buy a few more shares of Apple. It's about 90% uh, uh, owned by uh, the uh, street. So it's not like these guys can do a whole lot like sell it. Uh, there's always one stock like that that they just keep piling on. And everybody wonders when uh, the first person to think that it's time to lo uh, leave the Cinderella ball is but of course uh, as uh, Warren Buffett said uh, everybody's uh, at the Cinderella ball thinking they're all going to leave at midnight but uh, guess what they're in a room with a clock with no hands and that's always the way it is you never know when those things are going to happen but uh, tons of bad news for Apple doesn't seem to bother it much of any bit but that's kind of like a lot of the companies out here um, the old saying used to be in the 70s and 80s was uh, no one ever fired you for buying more IBM. And uh, certainly uh, that is the way of Apple. Uh, coming back on NVIDIA, the big le leaders in the SMHs, um, that low at 280, you certainly need to get back into that candle. You had 66 million shares. You're down on 28 million today. So, again, I'm not expecting to give it up, but I am expecting kind of a reversal in the S&P, uh, equ uh, equitable with what we've seen in the NASDAQ and the Russell. Uh, I suspect that they're just holding that one up for a lot of the stocks that they're in, but eventually uh, the bow will break. The cradle will fall. And again, I'm in to some more mixed metaphors and digression. I'm, I'm piling on here. Just getting close to the awards ceremony. Uh, other things going on in the market. Um, question about the TLT from Nancy. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, I missed one on AMD. I need to get back to this. Uh, question on a double repo on uh, Advanced Micro. You'd want it to go back above for a day or so. And then close. But this kind of just fooling with that level, probably not enough. What you need is real good up for us. Pretty much uh, in a day or two. Not yet. Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month and try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Turn the S&P is kind of stuck at 13 lower. That's a negative one, three. Uh, <clears throat> oh, I can't even remember my CB talk anymore. Uh, big uh, something, wasn't it? Well, who knows? Uh, anyway, uh, yesterday uh, we had, uh, let me see, eh, I deleted it. Um, we had, I thought it was Zach, from memory, maybe right, maybe wrong. I asked about restoration hardware. Um, I didn't think much about it because I, you know, going into earnings, more of a, of a gamble uh, than a prudent speculation. Got to uh, 658.51, so a nice spike higher. Uh, back down and giving about half of that back at uh, 618.68. Uh, for the last tick, but uh, eh, caught a few people napping out there, maybe some shorts, but uh, eh, it's a tough day to be long anything. Uh, just imagine what uh, some of these stocks would look like if they did report poorly, but uh, I do digress. <laughs> I'm adding on today. Uh, to some more questions about uh, 3D printers from my rant yesterday, SSYS, uh, and uh, it coming back. I just would like to see it, uh, I think this is from Ron, uh, come back and retest this little doji at uh, 2338. That's December 6th, a day before the day that we'll live in infamy. But uh, now nah, I think you need to get back and retest it again. Uh, if you missed my rant yesterday about some of the cool stuff happening in the sector, the downside right now uh, is that they are, I'd say, 95 percent uh, uh, reliant on the supply chain through China for a lot of the motors that move stuff. So uh, do keep an eye on that. Okay, 877-927-6648. I'm looking for your phone call today. 
as uh, eh, this S&P is kind of stuck. Last 30 minutes uh, will probably be the tail of the tape. Uh, Aaron calls in, or not calls in, emails in about, uh, what is it, uh, Microsoft? Uh, we just got three days going sideways here. You gapped up, and that's about it. I don't see anything real cha- uh, real changey here on that. Um, but um, eh, what can you say? Uh, we do have earnings coming up, and I did want to get into that. So let's uh, get into it. And this is tomorrow morning, by the way. Not really anything happening uh, tonight that I think can move the markets. Oop, excuse me. Excuse me. After the bell, excuse me tonight. I am confused. I hope I didn't confuse you too badly. After the bell tonight, excuse me. I was looking at that as before, as before tomorrow. Uh, is Chewy's. Uh, they report at 4 o'clock tonight. These have uh, broken down. Very interesting to see this stock not doing well. Um, I see their boxes on the front porch everywhere around the area so people are ordering stuff from them. I'm not exactly sure what the problem is with these folks, but uh, they are down before earnings. And I think a lot of people didn't go to the store to buy dog food during the lockdown. Maybe that's waning, but uh, certainly uh, seems like a company where a lot of people are still buying their stuff from them. I don't know exactly what. Maybe someone inventory problems? Eh, okay. Uh, other companies out here, of course, uh, if you've been doing your Pilates lately, you need to have your Lululemon uh, also headed lower. Um, going into earnings, not really doing a whole lot here. 413.06 is the December 6th low, a day before the day that lives in infamy. Uh, today, got to 4.2024 so far, 1.3 million shares compared to 1.4. So not looking good or not an encouraging sign into earnings, but I don't put a great deal into that. Also, tonight, we've got Costco and uh, kind of a big dark cloud cover for the two previous days. You've got a doji today on about half the volume so far. I don't think you can make a lot out of it. This thing doesn't tend to su- to surprise. Uh, and, of course, all these stocks that don't surprise are always uh, that way until they do surprise. I don't see anything in it, but I don't see any reason to play it either. Uh, Oracle, uh, we talked about this one for a long time. I continue to wonder who they're selling stuff to. I'm sure they are. But uh, this is kind of like Roku, where I, uh, it, it's just... I don't understand, and it's not like I'm shorting the thing. It's just literally I don't understand. And, of course, uh, Roku, uh, I finally understood one day when everybody said it, but it just seemed ludicrous uh, to me. Of course, uh, they uh, had a nice deal yesterday with uh, YouTube and uh, Google about getting cut off from uh, being on the site, the article, or I mean the uh, argument, uh, which is probably going to haunt uh, the folks at um, Google and YouTube uh, in court for the next five to ten years, uh, is some action that really smacks of antitrust, and that was that uh, they weren't going to let Roku go through if they continued to collect data. Uh, and, of course, not a whole lot of reason for Roku to have channels if they can't monetize it, at least in some way. But uh, apparently they made a deal. Who knows what that deal is yet? I would not been able to, to find out. And that's why they gapped higher on volume yesterday. Um, given back about half that pop higher today, but again, not a lot of volume. Wayne goes, thoughts on Tesla? This moved down to 59 Hey, um, there is a lot of talk, and I don't know how much uh, fruit it will bear. Uh, there's another metaphor. Uh, 
how well I mix it as applesauce. Uh, anyway, Tesla back lower. Um, what am I thinking here? Uh, the talk is that uh, that there's a bunch of lawsuits, and a lot of people have already settled about the Solar City acquisition, and that why Tesla certainly has the cash now. They may have had a lot of, and we all thought it at the time, but couldn't prove anything. They may have done a lot of naughty business out there to make everything work out. Uh, the solar tiles from Solar City that they bought, Solar City, right? Um, apparently burned a lot of houses down. Uh, there's some other stuff, but uh, there was a bunch of stuff in that thing that just never made sense. But apparently those lawsuits are now bubbling up after all these years. We'll be back in a minute. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFN and hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. And back, uh, looking for callers at 877-927-6648. And uh, eh, there wasn't much in history today, so I'll move on. I don't think anybody wants to talk about Windows 2.0 coming out this day in 1987. Uh, it was unusable then. It's unusable now. So that's all our history repeating. Anyway, uh, other things going on in the market. As I said, uh, volume not exciting yet. Um, I do think uh, from looking at the options yesterday, as I said, they didn't look good. 
Um, just kind of interesting that they are holding up this uh, market with the S&Ps, uh, but the rest have already broken, except the Dow. But that's 30 stocks, and that's 96% institutionally owned. You can only buy 4% of all the outstanding <laughs> shares in a, a Dow stock. Did you know that? That is probably uh, the uh, most useless index ever created, as uh, literally... It's uh, a cartel owning all of it, setting the prices for most of those stocks. But uh, uh, I do digress. Uh, da -da 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 Polar on Tesla. Do you expect a decline is underway uh, to close that uh, 950, 910 gap and decisively under that, the 900 high? Um, there's a lot of stuff that looks to me like, especially at SpaceX, uh, where he's maybe uh, gutting a lot of the cash coming out of Tesla uh, to put it in SpaceX. There was a pretty good, a pretty good article out a couple of days ago about how he did that with uh, Solar City, and that he's probably going to try the same thing. Uh, but uh, the uh, cost of the what was it? The the uh, downlinks, uh, the home um, satellite dishes. For uh, for his uh, um, uh, Starlink system uh, is costing him twice what he's selling them for. They buy them for five hundred bucks. Uh, there is a uh, article out there that says that at some point they think that the things cost him a thousand bucks, and at whatever the subscription rate is, hundred bucks a month or whatever uh, for uh, the the early adopters, uh, th there's no way that he can put the uh, his first goal is 4,500 satellites in orbit, but he wants to put 45,000 satellites in orbit, and each one of those with a defect rate of about three percent comes out to 250,000 piece anyway. Someone sat there with a spreadsheet and done the math and figured out that. Uh, they're probably in a good way unless he raids the piggy bank of Tesla uh, with bonds uh, to fund the expansion of, uh, of uh, uh, SpaceX. So just keep an eye on this. Uh, Tesla did go down fairly significantly. I think the people on the street knew uh, back when some of that stuff was happening. Uh, he got lucky and got into China and sold some cars, although I don't think he makes near the money that he says he does. Uh, I think that the reality is going to be margins much lower, especially over the next year now that Ford's F-150 is out, a few other cars out, uh, some alternatives to buying a Tesla. Uh, you're actually talking about the Kia kind of coming along now, the version 2.0 of that. Uh, as an electric car at half the price of a Tesla. Even even, even uh, Teslas, you can't buy the cheap model. It's kind of one of those things where they've made it in there, but there's no money in it for him, and he needs money. So you can't buy a cheap $50,000, $60,000 Tesla, but you can buy a $40,000 Kia. It may not have the range uh, and all the good uh, uh, karma that Tesla has, but certainly I think they work okay. Uh, could Starlink go IPO? I well, it Starlink owned by, of course, by SpaceX. I think SpaceX would be more likely uh, to IPO. But at this point, can they show their books? I think that that's what a lot of people are saying is that SpaceX probably would have gone public this year if they could show their books. Um, so. You know, if you're talking, you know, $250,000 per satellite, 4,500 satellites, losing 500 bucks or more on every downlink system. I mean, it's it, when you go IPO, you kind of have to push that stuff off. So the, there's been a reason that everybody's used these SPACs, and that is that you can hide all this stuff and no one gets to answer any questions or ask any questions. So, yeah, I think that there's some problems out there in the woodpile. Another mixed metaphor. I'm racing to the uh, finish this year again.
Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Um, yeah, I think Tesla's in prob uh, has got problems. Uh, the question is whether or not the holders of the shares continue uh, to just look the other way. Whistle past the graveyard. Uh, throw some salt over the shoulder. I'm on a roll today. Okay, uh, so we got that. Um, two, 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 two. Uh, you don't get to digress, John. That is my job. Uh, that's what they pay me the big bucks. Okay, other things going on out here. Um, looked at everything. Oh, question about Workday. Uh, yeah. I said when this company came out, I liked the management in this, and it's not like I like management in many companies or even talk about it. I think the only guy I've probably talked nice about has been the CEO of, of Microsoft. Uh, he's been a breath of fresh air to that company. Generally, the CEOs just, they can be a real drag, but generally they don't do a lot. Um, these guys, of course, are the old PeopleSoft uh, folks, and they've done well. Um, again, one of the things that has driven this was, of course, uh, IPO, I mean, uh, uh, Fauci virus lockdowns. So, yeah, no volume, another push higher today. I'm thinking a lot of these do have a lot of room to pull back. I don't think I'd want to be long this thing today. Uh, I'd have to see a retest of that 258.22, so there's not much going on that. Uh, question looking at DDD, where is support on this? Uh, again, I think we talked about that yesterday. Can't remember. You're pretty much at it, uh, which is the only, well, let me put it that way. You went down close to it, $20.47 um, from this uh, gap higher. With 15 million shares, that's back on May 12th. Um, you got into it, like I said, pretty good support. 60 million shares May 11th. You had 2 million shares on December 6th. You've already rallied. I like this thing to come back down to like 2150 or something. Maybe at the beginning of the year. But actually pretty strong other than the fact this thing sold off hard, which makes me think it's going to go sideways. A long, but a nice test of the low. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. As we return, a question from Robert about the Boeing company. Boeing or I'm not going. Um, light volume today. Um, you know, the news has not been kind to Boeing uh, down to 188. Uh, we're seeing some pretty astronomically good news about the latest uh, version uh variant of the Fauci virus. And I don't know what you can say about that. The bad news from Boeing or for Boeing is that I think they gave away another year or two years away to uh, SpaceX because uh, they don't have their capsule ready. So I know that uh, the SpaceX got another big uh, uh, contract for that. Um, so they continue to have uh, problems executing getting stuff out the door but you know i think uh supply problems that stuff that sorts itself out and the stock market probably looking past some of the short-term stuff on it but uh i think uh, the market's figured that this thing's worth about 200 bucks maybe a little bit more on a bad day and uh as long as things continue to get better and, and actually, there is some fairly good news on that front. Don't want to get kicked off YouTube, though. So, uh, you know what? Um, I think it's, you know, if you're long this thing at around 200 bucks, you can hold it. But I, don't, I think you probably have another couple of months of uh, consolidation in a lot of these stocks. And, of course, um, as things open back up, probably good for Boeing, uh, probably more tough for the market is uh, if the Fed is truly telling the truth and Mr. Powell, he's going to start ratcheting up interest rates. Um, that's probably good for Boeing, but probably a negative for the market. And this thing trades with the market uh, a whole lot. So you kind of have to look at it as a wash. Like I said, I think uh, probably holds up better than some, but if we're headed lower, and I think we are through uh, the 17th, uh, continues to be a problematic issue. Down 18 on the S&P cash, up 51 on the Dow, NASDAQ down 190, wrestles off 37 or 1.65% as we continue. Okay, we got some more emails here. So what do we have? To, 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 to NTLA, na, 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 na. what do we have here? Uh, on the theme of uh, what's go what's happening in the world of what's happening now, Virgin Galactic, uh, I said back when this thing was uh, going up to 57, uh, it was a giant scam. Uh, there was no way that this thing could ever make the kind of money that they said it could. Uh, SpaceX really cleaning up that market. Whether they're making money or not, they're destroying the competition. Uh, didn't think that there was going to be a lot. Kind of going close to space is not a uh, 
a good thing. And, of course, uh, actually sending people to space and orbiting a whole different story. I thought it was kind of weak and uh, uh, the uh, obvious overtones of propaganda of that. Mm, just tough to, to swallow. But uh, you're below the uh, previous low. I don't think that there's a lot of chance for these uh, also run space companies. So, uh, no, don't think there's a lot there. Maybe they'll come out with something. Um, I think they had a business that makes this thing worth about 10 bucks a share for launching uh, uh, for the military small satellites, especially to get up uh, for the CIA and National Reconnaissance uh, uh National Reconnaissance Agency, he said. Uh, and it makes a lot of sense, but I don't think there's a lot of putting people in space uh, or near space or just really high because they're not really, in, at least in my opinion, uh, you got to go 90 miles up. 60 miles doesn't cut it. And of course, uh, kind of like kissing your sister, uh, if you're really not into orbit, eh, I don't think you're an astronaut. 877-927-6648. Ford Pinto. What do we have here? Uh, <laughs> uh, Hector wants to uh, have uh, Ford rebuild the Pinto. Uh, there. You know, the, uh, the funny thing is uh, uh, the Ford Pinto made more money in the lawsuits against NBC when they put dynamite in it to blow up uh, than I think they ever made on the car. Uh, but uh, always interesting. The AMC Pacer. That just, I always wanted to paint that thing like a big turtle and put some uh, legs on it. It was just a big aquarium-looking thing, wasn't it? Uh, first car, 78 Pinto wagon. Uh, to you. Okay, yeah, we got some more emails here. Take a look now. Anybody in the den have anything? Got a couple minutes left to go. Uh, okay. CCJ. Um, don't think it's quite done um, going sideways. You got a couple of bounces. Now, what I like, though, is if this gets back into this candle of the six uh, with much lighter volume, maybe over the next couple of weeks. Um, I put in my uh, newsletter, the Tech Insider, uh, about what I kind of liked about this thing and some of the things that they're into. Uh, but uh, again, that's not quite happening yet. And we're in the church of what's happening now. And uh, well, it's not happening quite yet. So I kind of like it, but a, a retest down there uh, in that $20 range on lighter volume in the next couple of days could set up some nice lows. I'd love to see this thing go out sideways to the end of the year and maybe the beginning of the year, maybe this thing will be ready to go again. Um, you got to think that once we get within a week or so of the Olympic Games, that China probably won't pull anything while we have everybody going over there. Uh, the question is whether they do anything now, but you've got, what, two months? So you got another new moon to worry about. And if I, if I was a third world despot or even a first world despot, I would think that uh, the next new moon is uh, no one's believing anything can happen is generally the best time to do something if you're going to invade Taiwan, uh, which they talk about daily and nuking Australia and nuking Japan um, they're just a, they're just crazy, wild kind of guys, aren't they? Uh, those uh, Chinese communists. Okay, uh, what else do we have out here? Uh, a question about Adobe. A D B E. We'll be back in a minute.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN. Also, a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. And as we come back, wrap up the uh, show uh, for another wonderful Thursday uh, calling uh, coming up from what we talked about yesterday and that was options look fairly weak uh, into the 17th um, there may be a, a little difference and that is a change in character we've had some uh, huge moves all of them within a couple of days um, I'm wondering today if this is not a new sign of a change of character and that is uh, we took, you know, some giant leaps. Maybe it's time for the market to act more like a market that goes up and down for a handful of days or weeks uh, without uh, giant uh, falls and incredible euphoric moves higher. Uh, I think that it is very possible that we could just have these kind of, you know, minus half percent, one percent days uh, to the downside uh, and string a few of these together, three or four, and well, maybe a day up and three or four down or something. Um, don't see a lot of people. Uh, volume wasn't right on the indexes. As we said uh, in the uh, uh, trend for the, uh, for the Amex yesterday, uh, pretty scary highs, uh, or lows, excuse me, for the arms slash trend in that and that has to be most of the or happens to be most of the big ETFs yesterday um, so I'm not even saying when I'm fairly bearish but I have a feeling 
This is more of a uh, kind of a frog boiling market. Uh, they're going to just turn the temperature up slowly before everybody got in and out. But uh, I think the temperature comes up slowly over the next few days and into next Friday when we expire. Uh, but anyway, it's not the end of the world. 4,600 on the S&P cash is kind of what we're looking at now. That can change, and I'll, we'll let you know tomorrow if it does. But uh, I don't see anything changing here. Uh, we're probably going to be down a bit today, down tomorrow into the weekend, down a little bit next week. So when you can, not when you have to. We'll be back tomorrow like Patton. Same bat channel, same bat.